Hey Titans, I appreciate all of you and here I am going to go through some, some Think Circa things. So I've already created an account and I've already used this number right here from Miss Lau's email to upgrade my account. I'm just going to take you through uh, some things that Think Circa has. So let me get to Think Circa. Now, you'll have to create an account if you don't have one here, but that does not take too long. And like I said, if you don't, if you haven't upgraded your account yet, there'll be something up here to upgrade, and you can just click on upgrade and enter in that code. For classes, you'll want to add a class and upload a class period. You don't have to enter in any student names because your students, upon signing up, will enter in their own information and they will use that class code to join. Now, what's really interesting is that this chat box has been really useful for me. So whenever I've had any questions, um, that ZopM chat has really helped me out. But I would like to show how to get to student view and what I really like about Think Circa. So here we go, student view. So I've assigned all these uh, assignments to my civics courses. Just the fir very first time I went through looking at it, uh, thinking maybe I'd l offer kids extra credit for doing it. But this is uh, one that I'm looking at right now. Test to to teach or teach to the test. So here I am looking at, at it like a student. What is interesting here is that it goes through everything we know research demonstrates a good reader does. So here kids are going to make connections to prior knowledge. And then the next step is they're going to read, and in fact, they can even click um, play. And again, based on research, they have sort of summarizing questions to do right as they read or right after they read um, what the assignment is. Again, that's research-based. Um, then they have this tool where they actually highlight in different colors and I love that it's different colors. Um, research always shows that a single highlighter doesn't really do much for a kid because they have a hard time distinguishing between evidence on opposing claims or distinguishing between ev evidence claims and reasonings. Kids really need to use a pen or pencil to make connections or they need different colors. Summary um, is the next part and I like that it gives kids these uh, stems, especially because summarizing is often looking, looked on as an easy task when in fact it's probably uh, one of the most important and high level tasks that our kids need uh, for college when they're going to be inundated with all kinds of reading. And here we go, um, the claim evidence reasoning boxes to get through it and then they can submit answers. Now, the thing I like most, the rubric. So you have claim, evidence, and reasoning, conclusion, audience, and conventions of English. Please ask Miss Parker for an awesome poster if you'd like a poster with this kind of stuff. What I really like about it is that it gives beginning, developing, and mastery levels for each component. And I see this helping teachers out if they've got writing assignments that they need to use a rubric for. Even if they don't want to use Think Circa for uh, an assignment, they can 
use Gradebook and use these three levels to distinguish students at mastery levels. For example, something I do in my gradebook is an assignment might be worth four points, but I'll use a decimal point and then a one, two, or three for where they're at according to mastery. So if I'm looking at claim, the kid really did their best, they're going to get a 4.1 if they're beginning, 4.2 developing, or 4.3 mastery. That way when I look at the gradebook, I can just see what's after the decimal point to make my heterogeneous groups or if I need to target things for certain, certain students. Okay, I'm going to return to the teacher dashboard, show you how, if you want to assign something, this is how you would do it. Click on the lesson library, and they've got styles. I haven't created my own lesson library, but I'm guessing that's what I add to my stuff. Um, I think most of what we look at is going to be a, for applied lessons, but you also have these sets that you can go through and choose different content areas to engage your students. So if I was going to click on Perseverance... I'd get mini lessons, I'd get applied lessons, I'd get quick reads, and I could assign all those to my class. See it says select class first, so I'd select over here, and then I would have that assigned to the class. Okay, I hope that helped, guys. Uh, thank you very much.